Hi, I'm Emil, the practical engineer, and today I'm making a shirt blower. To propel the air into the shirt, I'm gonna use a leaf blower, and I actually bought two of them. I have this one and this one. I bought them secondhand because I didn't know which one would work best, so let's try them. This is the one that works the best, so I'm gonna use this one. But before I start the build, I wanna try it with the shirt as well. So I need to fix this so I can hold the shirt above it and see if it actually works. So now I know the principle works, it's time to make this thing a little smaller because like this it doesn't fit anywhere. So let's remove all the unnecessary stuff. So this here is the motor, you can click it off like this and I was hoping that I could use only this but you need the part in here up till here for to create the airflow so let's remove all this stuff so we can use only this much plastic with it that's all I need let's clean this up and go on So the wood is all cut, I'm using 12mm MDF for all the outside covers and to reinforce it on the corners I'm going to use these pieces of wood where I'll connect pieces to like this because the MDF is not really strong from itself but doing it like this with some wood glue and some nails it will be plenty strong. I think it will look really nice if I give these edges a nice chamfer with the router, so let's try that. The outside box is done, so next step is to hang this inside the box and since on the inside it doesn't have to look pretty so I'm thinking to make some sort of a bracket that mounts here and holds it inside. So by connecting the two pieces back together, it fits in this little frame I made. And this frame will hang in the bigger box to hold it in place. But before we do that, I need to make a hole in the top of the box so the air can go out.
So the leaf blower is mounted in the box. It sits here. The box is almost done. So let's try it. So that works, that's really nice. But I cannot hold the shirt all the time like this. That just doesn't make sense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a ring over here where you can clamp the shirt on with some sort of elastic. I hope that it works, so. But first the ring. So now I didn't really think about where the air would be coming from. The air is coming out here, but where is it coming from? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut a slot down here on the back side where the air would be able to enter the box. the box all painted and the next thing I need to do is to make a switch that will come over here that you can use to turn it on and off but I'm not sure if it's gonna work the way I think it's gonna work so I'm gonna put this to the side and make the switch on a test piece first before I drill all big holes in here and it wouldn't work out <laughs> Adding this spring gives an over center, which means that when you put the lever on the other side, it will stay here because this is the shortest way. When you move it to the other side, it goes longer, and then in its other position, it's short again. So that way, the lever stays on the side where you put it. Gives a little bit more feedback. So I know the principle works, so I'm gonna take it apart, paint it, and then I'm gonna put it on the big box. Shall we try it? Let's plug it in, see if it works. What I notice is that it blows really wild and that when it's like this, the, the waist of the shirt gets really, really skinny actually. And I want the whole shirt to blow up like this not with a skinny waist. So what happens is that the airstream is way too strong and it goes out straight away here. It doesn't really want to move to the sides. So I was trying some things and when you put this little corner bracket right in the stream where it exits the leaf blower, then it looks much better. I'll show you. First I'll show without and then I'll put the corner bracket in and I'll show you the difference.
clarify, this machine was not made to be a perfect solution for drying your clothes without wrinkles. It was more like a fun machine that could do the job, but it's really noisy and it does only one shirt, so it's not really practical, but it's a lot of fun. So that's why I made it look nice with a, with a large button like this and yeah, just make a fun machine. If you like the projects I do, check out my Patreon page over there. Watch this next video and don't forget, dare to experiment and have fun creating. I'll see you in the next video.